Okay, before anything else, let's do the surgery and see how that turns out. On these two fucking pricks. Very tempted to kill them and just, oopsie, I cut out the brain. They'll be fine. I'll cut out your brain too, but then I really am the Ripper. I want to talk about grief and see if they can do anything about these two shitheads. Because remember, these are the two ones that were responsible for burning that stepwoman. I'm a doctor. You got water. You have no idea how to do anything. Mm-hmm. Shut up. I'm on it. Okay, so I know it's down here. There it is. Okay. I can hear him breathing now, all normal. What is this splinter? Already done that. Okay. <clears throat> Well, I might as well use the bloody lockpick while I can, right? Before I give it back to Bad Grief, because they wanted it. I don't think they'd be surprised if it was a little banged up. Ooh, good stuff, my god. I'm really going to run out of space looting, looting this place. Such a cute little desk thing. Not a desk, I don't, I don't know what that is. It's so small. A lot of beetles in drawers for some reason. And of course I could pick any of these locks. Should I? Probably. I'm already hated here right now, right? Fuck it. Hazelnut, needle, Kashik, money, water bottle, needle. Bull bell. Hell yeah. I want to buy that. I want to buy that bull that just reminded me. I want to buy it and I want to put the bull bell on it. Do you think I can? All right, I need room for that. Um, I don't know how big it is. It's probably a square, two by two, I would guess. If so, then this should do it. Yeah, I have too much stuff. Save me. Okay, that'll do. If I unlock more stuff, I'm just not gonna be able to hold it. All right, I've got an idea for now. So now that I've fixed up the person here with a shiv in them, I can go back and tell Bad Grief about it. So I want to do that. <clears throat> mm. Safest way to get there would be to pay this ferryman to take me down there. But I also want to go to this, where the town is calling me. I think this might be where the bull was offered, isn't it? I think that is. And I want to buy it. I could go along the shore, which might allow me to avoid a lot of people... You know, it's probably safer just to go down to Bad Grief and then hope by the end of all that my name will be more cleared up. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to the Poodman. Hey, did I not talk with you? Oh, they're the one that tells me all about it. It's an abandoned house. Loot it. Hey, did I go upstairs? Is there anything up here? Other than a million doors that has a lot of loot in them, I'm sure. drink water. And let's leave. Yeah, 
yeah, the kids don't want to kill me or anything. That's good. Do I have anything more for them? Fishing hooks, six. Uh, I could give them a couple fishing hooks and a match. That's my only match, though. I'd rather not. I got a good amount of food. Okay, help me out, buddy. Let's go down here. It's going to take 15 minutes. That's not bad. <clears throat> Don't know how often loot gets like reset. I'm guessing at the start of every new day. That's probably what makes new loot appear in trash cans and things like that. I'm assuming they get repopulated with loot. They probably do. I certainly hope so. Really hoping I can mention those two shitty people that I just helped. Maybe they can do something about it. Otherwise, we're going to have a problem. Var the usurer wages war on all poorer. Just nailed barley down. Here we go, all around. Let us rest on the mountain. Oh, let us rest by the river. That's the song you people sing when times are hard, isn't it? How's peace work? I assume he kicked the bucket. No, I patched peace work back together. Cub, my friend. You didn't mess around in school, huh? And a hell with stock. Let him sulk. He only makes it worse for himself. So what's the plan now? The plan is to live. Live and breathe and thieve and leave. What do you find inside peace work? Just curious. This. Your men are fond of shivs, huh? Even an incendiary bullet would be less cruel. Well, that's people for you. I've been wondering what our kind townsfolk fashion those little barbs from. I see, I see. This explains who broke into Warehouse 8 last week. The thread unravels. I'll make a note of this. If you find more shivs, bring them to me. Don't give them to the kids, even if they offer bullets. I know. I've been offered a good deal. Oh, I can trade with you now? They sell a knife that's in good condition compared to this one that's about to break. Revolver ammo, some lockpicks. I've got one that's plenty good, though. Needles? There we go. My reputation, it's good again. I mean, it's... Not good, but it's not bad again. What, what exactly just happened, by the way? I've done all I can for today. Now all that remains is to wait until the coast is clear. The town hall is no longer looking for me, so it looks like it happens directly at 8pm. Bad grief remembers me. Well, I'm useful anyway. Not that he's of much help. Okay, so it looks like I've successfully done almost everything that there is to do today. Almost. I still need to buy that bull. I don't care about the revolver. I'm not going to get that. I couldn't even afford it anyway. Yeah, let's go get that bull. I'm glad I came here first. I didn't try to get the bull first. <laughs> Hi. Var. So you're a trained surgeon. Good. This is good. Shame that your esteemed degree is of no help to me. Why is that? 
The kin has not accepted you yet. You are Barak's son, but sharing blood is not enough. Supposedly, you are a Menku by birth, but in truth you aren't. You went away to study who knows where, leaving your people behind. Old folk don't appreciate that. Will the kin accept you at all? A Menku. Does this word mean anything to any of you still? I'm not a step man, but I do know that among your lot, only Menkus can become butchers, wise men, or surgeons, because they know the lines. Is that what you call it? The art of understanding the world? The lines? Yes, the lines. And that's why you and I have nothing to talk about yet. You may know how to wield a scalpel, but you don't know the lines. And in this town, no one would trust you to cut a body before you comprehend the world's design. So you can't help me out. Who are you, anyway? I'm Var. I have a business. An unusual one. Your father used to deliver certain goods to me. Now I came to ask a bad grief. He's a bandit, after all. A law unto himself. But turns out he's too lily-livered to cross this particular boundary. Oh, you're the person I sell organs to, aren't you? What kind of business? I buy blood and organs, body components, human components. What for? You're no Manku. You wouldn't understand. Forget it. says this is going to end the conversation, so I don't know if they're going to do what I ask here, but show me where you live. I want to talk to you about the kin some more. Did it mark anything? I don't think it did. This far claims to have done business with my father. He buys organs. But I'm no Manku. The local tradition does not allow me to cut bodies open. Mm, is that why it says, like, people will notice if I do an autopsy on somebody? It's frowned upon because of that. I'm not the right sort of person to do it. I've broken a step taboo. I've cut a body open. This town does not provide the best working environment for a surgeon. Oh no, I think it did mark it. Yeah, Var the Scar-Faced buys organs over here. Okay. Well, I don't think there's any rush on that, probably. I wouldn't think so. Let me go save now that that's happened. And let's go buy a bowl. Sunset. Forwards to the right. And we should be back out to a main street. Oh yeah, I never had this conversation with these people. These are the ones that were awkwardly checking this person for false, like, clay legs or something. Shop knock. Who ordered this? And I just tell him to fuck off. Dumpster. Dumpster diving. You have come to tell me about Vlad, haven't you? Yes. So that does happen, like, just a little bit after everybody stops trying to hunt you down. So it's a time thing. Your master? What does he want with me? I'll come by when I can. You tell him that. Oh, I'm actually super close to them. I might as well go right now. Yeah, and I think they have a save point there. I can't get a highlight on the location. So I don't know, but probably. Wait, is this the place? No, no, that's not it. Where is it? Q. 
shit, did you mark it on the map? Hmm. Well, I'm confused. Is this the place? Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. It's because there's a bunch of bodies there. What happened here? What is this place? Do I see a big gear. Oh, are these the- I think these are the three people that I killed. They took them here, didn't they? Oh. I probably shouldn't hang around. Yeah, big gear thing. I think a belt's supposed to go on here. I don't know what it's supposed to power, though. Music's so creepy. Intense. I feel like somebody's trying to kill me. Knock. This is not Old Gamesky's place. This is just some random person's apartment, isn't it? Right? Yeah. What was that noise I just heard? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the wrong place anyway. Oh, and I should be trying to trade with people. Crow. Ah, so you're Barak's heir. I am. You're one of Olgimsky's men now, right? Big Vlad said anyone who touches you will be in for a world of hurt. I am not. Why does Big Vlad want to protect me? He's a complete stranger to me, and I don't need anyone to intercede on my behalf. It's unwise to get in his way. Bos is a powerful patron. Don't let him down. That noise again. I'll stay on my toes. Nothing to trade for. Springs. Three springs for pemmican. That's worth it. Pemmican's real small. It takes up one slot. Um, where was I going? This way? Yes. How many bottles do I have? My god. Yeah, this... I don't think this is Olgimsky's place. I'm trying to remember where Olgimsky's place is from Pathologic 1. I don't remember. I think it was somewhere in the center, so somewhere here. Nah. Whoa, this place is really pretty. Safe point. Oh, look at these chairs. They're hides. Or benches, rather. Whoa. I can take that? That's not stealing? Alright. Oh, that is Vlad. This place looks very different from Pathologic 1. Looking pretty creepy in that chair. They don't even have a desk. Like, what are they doing? Just staring at the walls? It's clear. There's no water. 
beneath the town. Perhaps my child is not such a fool. Kindred blood and all. Mm, yeah, just a reminder from a little while ago. Remember we heard that Big Vlad's son was... There's like rumors that they're trying to dig a well down and find water. Everybody thought they were just, abs just absurd. That familiar old face. You know, I remember what your esteemed father looked like when he was young. I am, after all, only 15 years younger. He was a very decent person. He had a real spine. I'm supposed to not piss them off, but I don't like them. I'm going to be rather terse. What do you want from me? Come now. I don't want anything. You are the one with wants, and I suppose I'll learn them soon. Then why did you summon me? I'm getting reports. You're a villain, my boy. A murderous villain. My people are upset that they couldn't do you in. They're an ugly mob, aren't they? So small-minded. Animals. Beasts. Swine. At least you slipped away. Perhaps I should stand up for you. Hmm. Do I want to say fuck off I don't want your help? Could really be useful. No. I don't need help. I've already dealt with the whole mess. Well, partially. Now that's more like it. An independent lad. Just like your father. He despised patronage too. Always by himself. Wouldn't even take my advice. Wouldn't bow to anyone. Shame. A supple backbone can be useful. It can improve the situation for everyone. What are you talking about? My power is immense, boy. Have you forgotten? Everything you see here is mine. The whole bull enterprise, the abattoir, the factory, the warehouses, the station. This town's veins are my reins. It's meat and bones, my throne. I am the master, and I expect to be obeyed. Yeah, I really don't like him. I haven't forgotten, Bose. Believe me. And I'm not the only one who remembers. At least take my advice. I'm always eager to help Isidore's son. Stay here a while. Don't go out. My house is big. Plenty of space. If you need anything, just call the servants. Hmm. I don't want to stay here, but then again, it is in the center of the city. That would be quite a nice place to sleep, assuming there's somewhere to sleep here. Why should I do that? For your future's sake, my boy. What's the rush? Take a rest. You've suffered so much, and the rest of the town will have a rest from you. I'll take care of my future myself. Done with everything important for today. I'm free to rest until tomorrow or explore the town. At night, its face changes. Oh, we have more to talk about. What you owe, what you're worth, you know. Stop running around, my boy. No need for you to leave. I won't chain you up, but believe me, out there you'll just make a mess. Where's my father? I need... I need to see his body. Well, he might have been put in the ground already. Your people never linger with the rites of death. They bury the deceased immediately. Like a seed, yes? And if you take too long, a seed won't sprout. Where do they bury my people these days? In the new cemetery? There's no such thing as your people anymore. Yours, ours, we're all just people. What's past is past, so we're all buried together. Your rights are still different, though. Your kind must be buried in the morning, yes? Hmm, so there's... Still time? Or no, if they were killed last night, they would have been buried this morning, right? If 
father didn't think the past was in the past, and neither do I. Listen, are you planning to avenge your father? Why, you ask? Cain is eager to condemn someone, Sabarov to execute. I, however, I'll make sure we find the right person. Yes, the right one. The right one is the one who killed him. It's not that hard. You're probably off to a pub now, to drink to your father's memory. The twirine poison flows wide in the broken heart. Stamaton runs a good business, while I allow it. I don't drink. Not now. Did that just add Stamaton's pub? Yes, I was wondering when that was going to happen. That hadn't appeared. Okay. Yeah. Done with everything we need to do for the day? Hell no, there's still so much to do. I gotta buy a bowl, I gotta go to Stamaton's place. Can I sleep? Oh, I can sleep here. Forget sleeping though, we're doing fine on exhaustion. Let's go to Stamaton's pub. Actually, let's get the bull first and then go to Stamaton's pub. So you're selling a curse on four legs? Great, I'll take it from you if you pay me. Take him for 200. There, that's better than 3,000. <laughs> Can you pay the 3,000? Does anybody do that? If so, my god, I feel so bad for you. I don't even have a place to keep it. Fine. Here's the money. We'll see if you keep your word. They say they'll bring it to my place later. What is my place, though? Do they mean Isidore's home? The one that's locked up? I guess that'll probably become my home, right? Oh, I can't wait to put a bell on you. Big boy. I probably can't actually put the bell on them. This bell's inner surface is marked with sigils from the secret, sacred step alphabet. Like a human body, its insides mirror the universe. Anything else I want to see the description of? Pemmican? Pemmican isn't eaten for pleasure. This form preserves meat and fat, so that's how Odongs prepare it before venturing into the steppe for weeks to herd bulls. I think I've read everything else. Maybe not the thimble? Yeah, young ladies of good upbringing are often taught embroidery. But young Capella never uses a thimble. A mistress must sense a needle's path. If she doesn't, she deserves the consequences. Harsh. Did I look at the description for smoked meat? Mm, yeah, we've seen that before. Looking forward to giving you a good pet at home. Oh, I can trade the bell. Not gonna do that. Nah. Alright, to the pub. Hmm. Probably forwards and to the right should take me there, I think. I wonder when the bad people come out. The ones with the like chalk stuff all over the face that try to punch me. Oh, 
Turning too soon. Gotta go forwards more. Yeah, these, the people that look like this seem to only want to trade, like, the bell or some sort of medical item. Bandages or a tourniquet. And they don't want to trade anything but matches. They got good stuff, though. Crow. I'd like to trade with you, for my conscience's sake, but no one will trade with thieves or murderers. Barter's about trust. I'm neither thief nor murderer, pal. You do well to remember that. Barter is a sacred tradition. You understand that it's not about objects at all, don't you? Not about objects? Would you like to trade your coat for a match, then? I might have accepted that offer. But I won't trade with a man who has a burdened conscience. Why poison my own fate? There is no fate. We make our own lives. You're weird. Your fate won't improve my life. Only my own trust. Get it? When I trust someone, I get lucky. So good things come my way. I don't get it. What? Fine. I'll clear my good name soon. Then we can barter. Is this the pub? This is the pub? Looks like I'm a about to enter the slaughterhouse. Oh, I didn't have room for that. Shit. Uh. Oh, I have literally not a single space in... No, I have one space in my inventory. <laughs> hmm. Wish I could find those people that want to trade tourniquets and bandages for water bottles. I have an awful lot of them. I'll just leave it on the ground. It's not that important. This is the pub, right? I'm scared. It's not a very welcoming entrance. Hello? Okay. Whew. Yes. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to check out Andrew Stamaton's pub. <laughs>